Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Intellectual Agrarian, where we talk philosophy from the farm. I'm your host, Terence Lehew. Today, we are doing another My Father's World, a short story from my own past experiences on the farm, and when I run off those, I'll be telling the stories of other farmers and their experiences. Today's episode, today's story, is something of an adventure. A daring escapade, if you will, is entitled Chicken Run. Chickens are iconic figures in the farming landscape, being among the few commonly appreciated almost at every meal. Between eggs, chicken salad, roast chicken, etc., they're pretty well represented on your plate, always faithfully serving the required need. On the farm of my boyhood, we once had a flock of barred rock chickens, mostly gray with white spots speckling their feathers. This flock followed behind the cattle in a Joel Salton, eggmobile fashion, scratching out cow patties and eating the fly larvae deposited therein. A great idyllic image. However, in the reality, along with the benefits, there were drawbacks, as with anything in farming. Behind any ideal system, there is a gritty work behind the scenes. And in this case, it was moving a large, cumbersome, electric netting fence. This electric wire was like fishnet, woven out of electrical polywire, light when by itself, but heavy when accumulated. Or at least, it was heavy when I was a kid. Regardless, it was a time-consuming process to move and had a habit of trying to tip over, but there were rarely any serious consequences when it did. Until, of course, the consequences came. Between morning and afternoon chores, a large gust of wind knocked over the electric netting, in its entirety, giving the chickens unlimited freedom. Up to this point, they had only ever known life confined to the large perimeter of the netting and the coop. And while this was plenty of space, it was nothing when compared to the great wide world that was now open to them. At first, I suspect only a few sacrificial hens had been sent out from the flock to determine the safety of crossing the fence. By the time we had returned to move the cows and feed the chickens, the entire flock had ventured out, across the entire pasture. The day's activity had been chosen for us, determined by the livestock as so many days on the farm are. After resurrecting the fence, we began the long, tedious process of recapturing the chickens and dropping them back into the fenced area. It took hours. Literally. And if you've ever seen the part of the movie Rocky, where Rocky chases a chicken as a part of his boxing training, you have some idea of what it was like to chase 300 of them. As the sun set, we rounded up the last of the paltry poultry. Reinforcing the netting so it wouldn't fall over, we attempted to complete the rest of the day's tasks before night consumed what was left of that day. Overall, we thought we had succeeded. To our knowledge, all the birds were back, and the fence was again standing. The next day, though, we received a call from our neighbor with a local apple orchard, which sat more than a mile or so behind the farm and through the woods. He said, This morning I went to the petting zoo and found three new chickens, gray with some spots. Did you lose any? We thanked him for calling and told him he was welcome to keep them. We never purchased barred rocks again. I don't know if it was because of this experience or not, but from time to time I think back to that occasion and think about those three chickens crossing the woods and surviving overnight. I can't help but wonder, how many started that trip? Anyhow, that's my father's world. Thanks for listening. We hope you've enjoyed this new episode of My Father's World and this new segment. If you're enjoying these segments, be sure to let us know. You can email us at show at intellectualagrarian.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram. But please, most importantly, subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. While you're there, be sure to leave us a review, letting us know what you genuinely enjoy about the show. Once again, this has been the Intellectual Agrarian Podcast, and Terrence Lehew reminding you to keep farming the dream.